Okay, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to another tutorial here on how to uh, resize your room um, according to any kind of display aspect ratio and have all the objects kind of position themselves appropriately. I use this technique in a lot of my games. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do this with views and stuff like that, but this is a super easy one and it's super simple if you're just looking to just get it done and this gets it done. So to start off here, I have a room set up. It's 600 by 1280. Um, it's kind of an odd shaped room and I have an object here, an empty object with just a circle for a sprite. So let's start in here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is create another object and this is going to be called object resize. This is what's going to be started or um, created before the room is or as soon as the room is, is started and this is what's going to resize it for us. So let's jump into resize here and let's go inside the create event. The first thing we want to do is to create a global variable, uh, two global variables. I'm going to go uh, room width and I want to go room height. And these global variables here are going to be the ratio of the current room width height that we have to the display width and height. So to get the ratio, we're going to go display get width. And then we're going to take that right there over room, uh, room width like that. Or we can just go 600, either, either one. We can just go room width. The current room width is fine. That way you can change room width and it doesn't mess anything up. And then we can go room height equals display get height like that over room height. Just like that. Okay. So that's all that we're going to put inside of the create event. And now inside of the uh, room start, we're going to actually resize the room. So to start off, we're going to set the room height to the display height. And I always do width first. We'll go room width equals display get width just like that and now since the room width and room height have been changed we also need to change the application surface which is a default surface that game maker draws its stuff to so to do that it's pretty simple i have to go as surface set size or surface resize excuse me and then the id of the surface which is application surface i can't type and then the width and height so we're going to go uh, room width room height just like that now if you're in windowed mode what we're going to do is we're going to go window set size so the window size resizes itself as well same thing room width room height and that's it there and i just realized up here for setting the room width and height in the room start then this is going to be incorrect here this ratio so type in the number 600 by 1280 whatever the size of your room is um, set down here in these these properties so with that set up um, we have everything we need to jump into the object circle here now so and the create code, all we have to do, we have to go x equals x times room width and y equals y times room height. Room height, there. That's literally it, okay? And then our object resize here, we also want to check persistent so that it just moves and resizes every room that you go into. So jumping back to our room, now we can start dragging and dropping and some stuff. I'm going to put one up here in this corner and one down here in this corner and... Uh, We'll just put them in all the corners and put one in the middle of the screen ish there we go okay so you see these all kind of have their position now in, in the room and we'll drag in object resize and now one thing to make sure of is that you want object resize down here in the instance creation order to be first that needs to get created first before any of the circles or any of the other objects okay make note of that um, so um right now i'm going to be running the game inside of uh windowed mode so we can see it as it resizes itself to this screen, which is 1920 by 1080. And you can see all these circles here align themselves correctly. So the ratio in the room is the same. This one's in the center. This is uh, this is in the corner. This one down here is in the corner. All of them are, and it's good to go. Same thing works if you set it in full screen. It resizes itself as well, except it doesn't have that weird um, resize thing there in the, in the beginning. We're stretching this. It'll take a second to show up on your guys' screen. But uh, there you go. Oop, I'm in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see how the circles resize themselves. It all works. And uh, that is basically it. As long as you use the room width and the room height in your object circle create event here. Or um, like let's say, for example, you could go x equals uh, room width divided by 2. Something like that. That's going to position it in the middle of your screen, regardless of the screen size when it gets changed. So you can do it. Either way, you can use the room width or you can just multiply your x position by room width and your y position by room height. So 
Either way works, but this is a really simple way to do it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.